At the moment, we've started off by making him a darker character, so he's a bit more mysterious. In the first film that we're doing now, it's not so much his performance, it's more how the film's directed that the character comes through. I'd never actually heard of it until we were asked to look at the character for, for advertising. But of course, there's lots of reference now on, on the internet. Tons and tons of it. Before we get into the computers, I'm drawing out, I'm sketching out what I want the bird to do, just as a test. So I've got him come back like this, he goes down, he jumps up. I'm trying to get him to do a proud walk with his shoulders swinging like that. You can see if I flick the pages, you begin to get a sense of his walking. Although I start by drawing it, we actually build the bird in cyberspace in the computer. We build a little skeleton, we skin it, and then we feather it. We look at photographic reference. We've even had some stuffed birds, um, birds that were already in existence stuffed to use as reference, uh, and we've been supplied with feathers and that we put the feathers individually into the computer, scan them, and once we've got the scanned feather in, the, in cyberspace, then stick it on, re-feather re the, um, the, the bird model. So we've looked at what's on the bottle and what's in reality and tried to go somewhere in the middle. And what's on the bottle tends to be an illustration, and that what's on YouTube as a reference is absolutely live, accurate footage, because it's a live bird, and we go somewhere in the middle.